Hi guys, it's Christina with Virginia Wreath Company. Um, I thought I'd share a little bit of um, my creative process with you guys. Um, I believe that when you create a professional wreath that it should be packaged the same way. Um, and I'm going to give people a couple minutes to come on in and join us and then we'll get started. So tell me where are you guys from, um, what are you doing today, how's the weather where you are? We have rain um, and it's looking like we're going to have rain off and on for like the next four or five days. Um, anyway, I am going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how I prepare my wreaths for shipment. Um, the first thing I do is I have these, they're 30 by 40 um, cellophane bags and they're, they're really good to use and I package my reeds in something like this in case the box gets destroyed or it's set in water um, and if it's set in water it's not going to affect the wreath because it's in this bag and I think it looks nice too. Um, what else I do is I have my bag. I have a wreath care sheet. I send this to everyone um, regardless of what kind of wreath you buy. It has general instructions on how to take care of your wreath and things like that. And I also have a goodie on the back. You get a 10% off. If you order two wreaths, you get two coupons. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, the next thing I use is I use raffia ribbon. I love, love, love this stuff. It's so cool. And I'll show you what I do with this in a few minutes. And I also include my business cards. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have this beautiful Valentine's Day wreath right here. And this is what I'm going to show you how I package up. And if you're interested in this wreath, you can find it at virginiawreathcompany.com. That's the link to my Etsy shop. And you can find other wreaths there as well, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wreath. This might get a little loud for a couple minutes. I'm take my wreath. I slide it in. Up and over. Slide it in. I know it's kind of loud. Okay. There we go. And this is what your wreath is going to look like um, from inside your box. And also, this makes it really, really nice if you are purchasing a wreath as a gift for someone. Um, I can ship it to another person, and if you'd like me to, I can put a note in there. Um, but this is this is what it looks like in the bag. And then I also I put in my wreath care instruction sheet. Slide that in. And then Lastly, I gather up the edges. Sorry guys, I'm not loud. Go 
together at the edges. Hold that for just a second because I do take a hole puncher and I punch a hole in the corner of one of my business cards. And this is where the raffia ribbon comes into play. I'll take a couple strands of the raffia ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me. And I run it through the card. And I tie it off. and trim just a little bit of this off. Okay. And this, let's see if I can get a hold of it here in the back. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is exactly what your wreath is going to look like inside the box. Um, Again, it's protected by the cellophane in case your box gets wet. You have your information sheet in there. And I have attached my business card right there. I don't know if you can see the raffia ribbon. It's super cute. And I think it just adds an extra little personal touch to it. So this is how I package my wreaths for shipment. Um, if you have any questions or want to ask any questions about anything about how I package my wreaths, um, shipping, um, if you have any wreath questions in general, uh, feel free to comment and, and ask me and I will I'll answer them for you. But I want to thank you for taking your time and joining me today and I hope to do some more of these soon. Thanks guys. Bye.